Hi, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome Mr. Sandeep Jori as part of our big picture set of candid conversations. Iron Pillar is investing in companies that are building great world-class products. What do you think has changed over the last 20 years or so? If you go back to the early 90s, most of the tech scene in India was outsourcing, you know, kind of low-level stuff. Over the years, you know, U.S. companies and other global companies started building up their tech centers. That builds a certain level of technical experience. You know, then, then you had some entrepreneurs trying to build products, but there was not enough critical mass of investors. There wasn't a critical mm -hmm. mass of entrepreneurs. You have other entrepreneurs. You have mentors. You have VCs. So there's this whole kind of what makes Silicon Valley magical is that whole ecosystem and critical mass of people. When you do invest, when you do work with these startups, it's relatively early, right? So there hasn't been the traction. It's not, they're not doing tens of millions of ARR, but you're willing to roll the dice at that point if you get conviction around the team and, and the value proposition or, or, the, or the product, product market fit. Would that be an accurate mm -hmm. statement? I've been in the enterprise space long enough that I feel like I have a sense of what will fly. You know, how does the entrepreneur articulate the business challenge and how they're solving it? And is this something that uh, that enterprises will care about? You know, is it interesting enough for them to care about? I want to uh, find out about your most recent venture, Tricentis. Tell us a little bit about what Tricentis does and and perhaps about 13X, the challenges. 13X, mind it. 13X. Oh, my goodness. Okay. When I left HP, I had acquired Mercury Interactive, which was the leader uh, in the testing space. And my thesis was that you needed a next generation platform for testing. I ran into Tricentis and they had an incredible product and I thought that would be a great next-gen product that the market needed. It was typical bootstrap company, meaning the founders had started it, they'd raised very little money. You know, we put in CRM, we put in a, a, a demand-gen system, we, we started talking to analysts, we upgraded the website, I built out a U.S. team, started looking at U.S. customers. So transformation went from about mid-13 when I joined them till about 15, and in two years, all of this. And in two years, we were beginning to get recognized by Gartner as one of the emerging leaders in the mm. space. We cleaned up the thing, if you may, got all the points on the board, and then we raised $165 million from a growth equity investor. So if you go back in 2013, we were about $5 million in ARR terms. Today, we are 130. Uh, this year, we'll be 130, 35, somewhere in that range. So that's about... Uh, a 20 plus percent increase. You know, I, my strategy was that I'm going to go after Mercury. That spend, that category, that need hasn't changed. Mm. The What the customers want as a solution has changed. Well, it's definitely a resounding success already, but uh, the next couple of years, I can't wait to hear, you know, what you do uh, with Tricentis and so kudos. But listen, it's been an absolute pleasure and absolute joy to be speaking with you, Sandeep. Uh, congrats on all the success with Tricentis on your career overall. And thank you for being part of uh, the Iron Pillar Network. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks for the opportunity. And I'm really excited about the Iron Pillar Network because you guys are out in the ground identifying those cool entrepreneurs where, where you think there's an opportunity to take a great idea and take it global. And that's what excited me about Iron Pillar. Mm -hmm.